I just wanted to. I'll finish it up. Man, Ezekiel 43 and uh, verse 7. He said unto me, Son of man, the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever, and my holy name, Kadosh, shall the house of Israel no more defile, neither they nor their kings, by their whoredom, nor by the carcasses of their kings in their high places. The Lord said, you know what? You put your post by my post. You put your house by my house. You put your door by my door. And yours is better than mine. Amen. You know when Solomon built the house of the Lord? He also built him a house, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Verse 8 says, and in their setting of their threshold by my threshold and their post by my post, there it is, and the wall between me and them, they have even defiled my holy name by their abominations that they have committed, wherefore I have consumed them in my anger. In Ezekiel chapter 8, he tells Ezekiel as he's sitting there with the elders and they're asking him counsel, the Lord picks him up and takes him out of the spirit and he shows them a door. A wall yep. with a hole in the wall, and behind the wall is a door. Mm -hmm. And when he opened the door, he saw all manner of four footed, creeping things, every abomination. Mm -hmm. He saw the women weeping for tomorrow. He saw the elders, the, 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 the 70 elders, with their golden censers, the same thing they used in the temple, amen, worshiping. Mm -hmm. He saw the, the elite of the elite, and they had their face toward the sun, worshiping the sun god. Profanity hmm. at its highest level. Do I have to leave my house to see these abominations, saith the Lord? Listen to what he says. Thou son of man, verse 10, show them the house to the house of Israel, that they may be ashamed of their iniquities and let them measure the pattern. And if they be ashamed of all that they have done, listen to that word, you. And the fashion thereof, and the goings out thereof, and the comings in thereof, and all the forms thereof, and all the ordinances thereof, and all the forms thereof, and all the laws thereof, and write it in their sight, that they may keep the whole form thereof, and all the orders thereof, and do them. This is the law of the house. And what is the law? Upon the top of the mountain, the whole limit thereof, round about, shall be most holy. Behold, this is the law of the house. Truth and holiness. That's what God requires. Truth. And truth will lead us to the path of righteousness. When we follow men and what they think and what they feel, we are in deep trouble. So he talks about this house. It's a holy house. He says, we're a royal priesthood, a holy people. We have been called out of darkness to the marvelous light. We are a representation of what the high priest was then. He interceded for the people. Yeshua is a high priest. He's called us a kingdom of priests. And we are to manifest him wherever we go. The house we live in is holy. The words we speak are holy. The actions and reactions are holy. And therefore, when we do these things, that true temple is manifest in us. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Ye are not your own, but you're bought with a price. And everything we do has a price tag on it. So praise the Lord. Amen. For his goodness towards the sons of men. Amen. I know you guys are. Well, that preacher will keep talking. Right. One, one question. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let's 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 do this, and then we'll open it up. Okay.
Baruch Atah Adonai, Elohim Ben Elohim, Asher Ben